Hey guys, uh, Ryan Mizuka23, back with another video. Um, we just had a huge update, and there's some new information in, so I'm gonna go over it. Um, so, round two of step ups are gonna be Thousand Year Blood War, round five characters. Um, it's going to be Maga Aizen, Bankai Yamamoto, and Maga Soyphone. And it's going to be st step-ups like the um, previous banner. Um, more characters from the Thousand Year Blood War story arc are here to show their true power. So, on the 31st at 2 o'clock... Um, this new summons will feature the following three new five-star characters. Sosuke Aizen, with the spiritual pressure to crush everything. Gain Ryu Yamamoto, awakening the dead in a roar of flames. Swordphone, ready to go beyond her stolen Bankai. These new characters will appear in five different summons. See below for details of each summon. So, from the 31st to the 10th of August... is going to be the uh, step up banner um, from the 10th to the 14th it's going to be uh, Yamamoto's individual banner him and three other selected five stars okay let's go over the uh, step ups actually so Sosuke Aizen, with spiritual pressure to crush everything, he's a ranged, strong attack character with the hollow killer ability. All of his a chance have a, attacks have a chance to inflict weaken, which combines excellent with his frenzy and five second debilitator skills. He also comes on with a crawling vortex second strong attack, further increasing the probability of inflicting weaken. His third strong attack is a new kind of charged attack with a third level of strength. Keep holding the button when Aizen reaches the second stage of the attack and he will begin the incantation for Kuro Hitsugi. Wait until the incantation is finished to unleash the full might of Aizen's spiritual pressure. That's not all though. His skills also include Star Barrier plus 10 and he's the first character to have 100% last ditch survival as a skill rather than a soul trait. So that's very interesting. Alright, so... Yamamoto, Waking the Dead in a of Flames, is a melee strong attack character with the hollow killer, hollow killer ability. All his attacks have a chance to inflict burn, which combined with his frenzy and two second debilitator skills means no enemy can escape his flaming attacks. His devastating special move also surrounds him in a vortex of flames for a short while, damaging any foe that dares to come near and setting them on fire. It recites complete mastery of fire is running out by his fire immunity skill, so that's pretty badass, which makes him impervious to any hazards or enemy attacks that usually inflict burn. He can also inflict freeze immunity, meaning he is immune to the effects of both freeze and burn, so that's awesome. Swipephone ready to go beyond her stolen Bankai is a Swipephone is a merely normal attack character with the Arankar killer ability. Her second strong attack transforms her into a more, more powerful state while also surrounding her in a vortex of wind that damages nearby opponents for a short while. Her enhancer skill prolongs the effects of this boost, meaning she can keep fighting at peak damage output for longer. Her skill set is rounded out by flurry and poise, making her one of the most devastating normal attack characters in the game. These new characters will be added to the epic array of raid advantage character list for the acid wire awakened epic raid. So... The steps are the same as they were. So, a uh, thousand year blood war Aizen is a mind attribute hollow killer with 1094 stamina, 638 attack, 354 defense, 348 focus, and 802 SP. His special is Hado 99 Go Goryu Tenmitsu. He summons five dragons that devours everything in their path, causing immense damage and inflicting weaken. <clears throat> He's got a strong attack recharge length of 12%. Bruiser plus 20. 
Frenzy, Devastation plus 40, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Sprinter plus 1, Last Day Survival, 100%, Star Barrier plus 10. Oh, I called this. I knew I knew Yamamoto was going to be speed attribute. So, Yamamoto, Thousand Year Blood War version, is a speed attribute with a hollow killer. 1100 stamina, 648 attack, 347 defense, 350 focus, and 792 SP. The special is Kakajun Anaku Shidai Sojin. He uses his sword's flames to control the undead, causing immense damage and inflicting burn. He's a strong attack recharge, 12% character with bruiser plus 20, frenzy, devastation plus 40, debilitator plus 2 seconds, sprint plus 1, and fire immunity and freeze immunity. So, sword phone is a hard attribute character with 1111 stamina, 767 attack. 374 defense, 367 focus, and 618 SP with an Iran Curl Killer. Her special is Mukio Shunko. She attacks with Shunko faster than the eye can see and play damage damage. She has a normal attack damage plus 20 link with long reach plus 20%, flurry, berserker plus 30, devastation plus 20, enhancer sprinter plus 1, and poise. Oh my god, this is nuts. So, the fillers in this game are amazing so of course you got the three fill the three feature characters eyes and yomoto and soy phone and oh my god they got a thousand year blood board toshiro sajin byakuya and shunsui that's four of the fillers and then the rest are just characters you can get from the premium pool like Tech Genjo, uh, the newer mine, Jushiro, uh, Tech Kensei, Tech Team Ichigo, and Tech Team Renji. Alright, so let's go back to the notices. So, sorry about that. So, Includes uh, Bankai Yamamoto, uh, Tesla, and Speed Machine, which I have him in the team. I have Speed Tensei and Speed Machine, so that's not going to be a good individual banner for me. Um, Scholar Short Punch. So, Soy Phone's banner is going to have Lost Agent Saji, who's a speed attribute, and Lost Agent Shinji, mind attribute. I'm only missing that Saji out of that one. Saji, and of course, the new Soy Phone out of that one. Alright, in the final bit, in the um, final individual banner, it's going to be out from the 18th to the 22nd of August. Uh, it's gonna have my guys and Loopy and Power Mayuri. It's a twenty percent DR link. Sorry guys, I keep getting a little screwed up here. Alright, and the final banner is gonna be out from the twenty second to the thirty first, the droplet banner. Doing a ten time summons and that's you twenty of each droplet. As you guys know. Is going to have manga eyes and manga Yamamoto, manga soy phone, speed, speed Lisa, um, tag team Izuru, and Horror now, and Tech Yori. Alright.
next bit of news is tense of course has been changed so on Monday to the 5th you're gonna be able to get characters for Kai and um, Martin Shun Sweet, Tai Team Ichigo, Tech Ratsu, Danga Ichigo, and Kukupuro. Yeah, he's a little dog. So, okay. Acid Wire Awakened Epic Raid will be available on the 31st. And for the Awakened Epic Raids for Technique, you'll be able to use Parasol, Sun Sun, um, Tech Kinjo, the new Mongo Sword Phone, Tag Team Renji for. So tag team Renji and Manga Soy Phone for Heart. Um Why Why Ichigo and Tag Team Ichigo for, for power for speed, Manga Yamamoto and Parasol Aizen and for mind Manga Aizen and uh Mind Too Sure. So the speed attribute accessory machine will be available on the 29th and then I'll have the five star golden chappy, five star golden yuki and five star golden pupples all speed attribute. New inheritance on schedule from the 29th to the 5th of August. Will be Hollow and Soul Reaper. The killer abilities will be a Roncar killer. Hazards, fire for single player and poison for co op. Killer effect times three. Extra stages, yes. Single player quest boss will be Yachiru. Co op bosses are Yachiru, Nanao, Isane, Nemo, and Rangiku tag team version. <clears throat> From the 29th. So on the 29th, there'll be mine. 29th to the 30th, it'll be speed. 30th to the 31st, it'll be technique. The 31st day to the 1st, will be power. 1st to the 2nd, will be heart. 2nd to the 3rd, will be technique, speed, and mind. 3rd to the 4th, will be heart and power. And from the 4th to the 5th, it'll be mind. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of breath. And also... Accessory training round three from the 29th to the 5th. You can get Shinji's hat. Which will be available in five different, five different attributes. So the five star hunting cap has got 15 attack and 15 spiritual pressure. You can roll a random second effect. Monday is heart, Tuesday is power, Wednesday is speed, Thursday technique, Friday mind, Saturday heart, power and speed, Sunday technique and mind, and Monday heart. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Um, thank you guys again. Um, be sure to like the video, uh, comment what you guys think about all the news we got, including the manga characters, how many orbs you're going to be going in, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.